Cat 6A cabling questions. Here we discuss a range of common questions about Cat 6A cabling. These are questions that are commonly asked by clients for the installation of various Cat 6A cabling projects. For further information, our project team is happy to help or arrange an on-site survey for further assistance. What is Cat 6A cabling? Cat 6A cabling was the new structured cabling standard that was ratified in 2008 and was the first category to be suitable for 10 gigabit transmission over the standard permanent link distance of 90 meters. In a similar manner to Cat 5E and Cat 6 cable, it is constructed of eight separate cores split into four pairs of colors. Thus, it is classified as a twisted pair data cable. These pairs are twisted together throughout the length of the cable in color groups. Therefore, we have four pairs of different colors. The Cat 6A cable pairs are the same as the other categories. These color pairs are a solid and a white solid combination. The colors are orange, green, blue, and brown. In comparison to previous categories, it can have a thicker outer jacket, tighter twists, and increased internal airspace. All these elements are created to reduce noise crosstalk during higher transmission speeds. However, these elements result in larger cable size. What is the CAT 6A cabling speed? The maximum frequency for CAT 6A cable is 500 MHz. This is an increase from 250 MHz from CAT 6 cable, and an increase from 100 MHz for CAT 5E cable. CAT 6A cabling is also ratified for 10 gigabit transmission over the standard permanent link length of 90 meters. Previously, CAT 6 was only capable of 10 gigabits up to 55 meters. What is CAT 6A RJ45 wiring? The majority of structured cabling is terminated using the RJ45 termination standard. The RJ45 termination standard is found in CAT 5E through to CAT 6A. In the categories above CAT 7, similar elements of the RJ45 connector are still present with the addition of four additional connection points. However, all the categories still plug into one another and are therefore backward compatible. There are eight core colors within the connector and these are split into four pairs. These pairs are twisted together and the tightness of the twists increases by category. The colors pairs are blue, green, orange, and brown. These are consistent throughout the cable, module, and patch panel. Also, they are consistent through structured cabling categories. Therefore, regardless of the structured cabling category, transmission still occurs. How much is CAT 6A cabling? CAT 6A price per point. A starting point for CAT 6A cabling cost per point is £50 to £65 per point. However, this will depend on several factors. For example, the structure, scheduling, and the total number of outlets will all affect the price. CAT 5E versus CAT 6. CAT 6 is the advanced category of the data cable to CAT 5E. The main difference between CAT 5 and CAT 6 is that CAT 6 by comparison has a bandwidth of 250 MHz. So in essence two and a half times the capacity. However, at the standardized 90 meters permanent link distance they both only transmit 1 gigabit Ethernet speeds. However, CAT 6 is capable of 10 gigabit Ethernet up to 55 meters, although this isn't a standard length for data cabling design considerations. CAT 6A vs CAT 6 CAT 6A was the category of structured cabling ratified after CAT 6. It stands for Augmented CAT 6. With some manufacturers, you will find a cable branded as CAT 6E, Enhanced CAT 6 Cable. This category is not ratified by regular standards. Thus, CAT 6A is the next official category in the structured cabling timeline. The first difference between the cables is the bandwidth capability. Comparing CAT 6A to CAT 6, we see an increase in bandwidth of 500 MHz to 250 MHz. Thus, we see an increase of two and a half times the capacity. The doubling in bandwidth follows on from CAT 6, doubling that bandwidth of CAT 5E, 100 MHz to 250 MHz. The next difference is CAT 6A cabling is standardized for 10 gigabit transmission over 90 meters. Structured cabling design bases its standards around a 90 meter permanent link and an allowance of 10 meters for both patch leads. By comparison, CAT 6 cabling was only capable of 10 gigabit up to 55 meters, 
and was therefore rarely considered for 10 gigabit network design. Cat 6A vs Cat 7. What's the difference between a Cat 6A and Cat 7 Ethernet cable? Cat 6A and Cat 7 cables differ in a few different ways. Cat 7 cables have an increased amount of shielding. In each version of Cat 7, each pair of transmission cores is shielded and so is the overall cable. This is only present in Cat 6A F, FTP versions. In other versions of Cat 6A cable, the outer sheath or inner cores are unshielded. Cat 7 once again increases the inner pair twists, increases the performance concerning signal to noise ratio protection. Furthermore, Cat 7 is constructed in a different way resulting in a larger cable and installation bend radius. Transmission capabilities are the biggest difference between Cat 6A and Cat 7. Cat 6A cable operates at 500 MHz. However, the Cat 7 cable has a maximum frequency of 600 MHz. Cat 7A standards in some manufacturers reach a frequency of 1000 MHz. Both cables are ratified to transmit 10 gigabits at 90 meters. However, testing in some Cat 7 cables reveals the ability for 40 gigabits up to 50 meters and 100 gigabits up to 15 meters. What is shielded Cat 6A cabling and what different types are there? With Cat 5E and Cat 6 cables, there are two main types of cable differences. They either come in a shielded or unshielded version. With Cat 6A cable there are three different variations. 1. U, UTP Cat 6A This Cat 6A cable consists of unscreened inner cores and no screen around the four pairs overall under the outer jacket. 2. F, UTP CA 6A This Cat 6A cable once again has no shielding around the inner cores, but on this occasion has an overall shield surrounding the four pairs under the outer jacket. 3. F, FTP Cat 6A, the total shielding solution option. The inner pairs are each shielded and those four pairs are again surrounded by an overall shield. Visually the shielded cables look the same in many ways. However, the addition of a foil shield around the cores, or around the outer sheath, increases the size of the cable. However, this shielding adds protection from EMI and external noise. Can I run HDMI over Cat 6A? When sending HDMI signals over structured cabling, Cat 6A is a great choice. Many audiovisual manufacturers have created a specific HDMI transmission twisted pair cable. The performance of these cables is similar or identical to Cat 6A. The shielding found in Cat 6A versions is suitable for audiovisual transmission with better protection from interference on the AV signals in these transmission links. The source equipment converts the HDMI signal into a suitable transmission for the Cat 6A cable. The receiving end reverses this conversion from structured cabling back to HDMI. What is a Cat 6A jack? The majority of Cat 5E and Cat 6 cabling terminations are completed with what is referred to as a module. A termination module is a one-piece unit that contains the RJ termination outlets and a plastic casing that fits directly into a faceplate. At the patch panel end, all 24 terminations are pre-built into the panel. With Cat 6A cable terminations, a termination jack is used. This is a square termination block where the cable is connected. This is the same for both the user outlet and patch panel end. These jacks are then snapped into suitable shutters that fit a faceplate or floor box. Furthermore, the patch panels have 24 empty slots, of each which these jacks snap into. The termination jack allows the cable to be terminated in a straight line, and allows the termination standards and bend radius to be maintained. This couldn't be achieved with standard modules. Can I join Cat 6A cable? The standard advice with all structured cabling is that the cable should be a direct link with no joins. However, in some cases, there is no choice other than to join the cables. Therefore, it is possible to use an inline IDC connector. With an inline IDC connector, a junction box is used to permanently punch down two Cat 6A cables at opposite ends of the junction box. This box itself then creates the permanent join between the cables. When you use these types of connection boxes, the cable will still pass a fluke certification test. It is not recommended to extend two Cat 6A cables with a patch leads and jacks or couplers. The patch lead creates an additional loss in the link, and can cause the overall link to fail when testing. What are my options for Cat 6A outdoor cable? 
CAT 6A outdoor cable can come in two different options. 1. Standard CAT 6A outdoor cable. This CAT 6A outdoor cable is similar to an interior cable, but instead of an LSOH or CCA sheath, it has an outdoor rated sheath suitable for exterior elements. The PE sheath is UV resistant and is weatherproof, which means the CAT 6A cable can be outdoors and not erode over time. 2. Armored CAT 6A outdoor cable. This CAT 6A cable will have the same sheath as the standard outdoor version. However, it will also have armored protection within that sheath which consists of strands of armored wire. This armored wire protects the cable from strikes, rodents, and other destructive elements. Can you use CAT 6A cable for telephone outlets? The majority of telephone systems are now operated on the VoIP transmission protocol. Current VoIP systems either run at 100 megabytes or in some cases over 1 gigabit transmission link. Therefore, currently, all structured cabling systems are suitable to run VoIP. However, if the overall design calls for an allowance for 10 gigabits to computers, servers Wi-Fi etc. The telephone points would use the same structured cabling as the other elements. Therefore, the entire office would be wired with CAT 6A cabling to achieve these requirements. Structured cabling design ensures that all technology can work over any of the cabling outlets. Therefore, the phones would operate over the same links as the computers and vice versa. Do CAT 6A cables work with CAT 6 and CAT 5E? As previously discussed, structured cabling categories will all work with one another due to the RJ45 connector. However, the overall structured cabling link will only work to the limit of its weakest point. Thus, the overall performance of the cabling will be rated as the lowest category that is present in that wiring. However, the transmission will still occur. For example, if a CAT 6A cabling link is installed and CAT 5E patch leads are used, then the performance is only capable of CAT 5E performance. Thus, the overall link loses its ability to transmit 10 gigabit Ethernet. This is a common problem we see when clients move into a new building and use their old patch leads from the previous building. How to differentiate CAT 5E, CAT 6, and CAT 6A cabling? The quickest way to see the difference between the cables is on the outer sheath of the cable. The sheath contains codes and markings to clarify what type of cable it is. In some cases, it may be a part code that is easily searched for clarification. Telling the difference between CAT 5E and CAT 6 or CAT 6A is visually straightforward. The CAT 6 versions will have a plastic central divider whereas the CAT 5E will not. However, the visual look of CAT 6 and CAT 6A is quite similar. One visual difference if you have both cables is that the CAT 6A cable is larger in diameter and size. It will also feel physically stiffer. If you have a single cable with a central divider, and you are unsure of the cable type then the outer cable sheath markings are the best way to tell. We are happy to advise on this and can feedback on the category with a photo of the outer sheath markings. How to test CAT 6A cable? CAT 6A can be tested in a variety of ways, but there is only a single option accepted in the industry standards. A basic test is by using a continuity tester. With a continuity test, the cable has a tester placed at both ends and eight lights confirm if all eight connectors, four pairs of cores, have been terminated correctly and in the expected order. The limitation of these testers is that no feedback is calculated about the performance capabilities of the cable, and whether it is capable of the correct transmission. Furthermore, with these testers, it may show all eight cores correctly terminated. However, it does not feed back interference, and how it affects performance from outside interferences. These interferences can be from other cores within the cable or other cables in the same bundle. Even though a cable is terminated in order, if it's not terminated correctly, and tested with the correct tester you may not have a suitable link. Therefore, it is extremely important that all data cabling be tested with certification test equipment. This type of tester creates results and charts that highlight different aspects of the performance of the cable. Furthermore, the effects of poor installation and faulty terminations are highlighted. Each cable run has an individual summary sheet. A green tick will show all standards have passed, and a red cross will show that the cable is not up to transmission standards. Can CAT 6A run Gigabit Ethernet? CAT 6A cabling is similar to CAT 5E and CAT 6 in that it is capable of 1 gig Ethernet. 
this is for a 90 meters connection, again the same as CAT 5E and CAT 6 up to 90 meters for a permanent link. All structured cabling for copper links design is based on a permanent link of 90 meters, and an allowance for 10 meters of patch leads in total. Therefore, for gigabit Ethernet, CAT 6A cable has no advantages over CAT 5E and CAT 6. Can I use CAT 6A for 10 gigabit Ethernet? CAT 6A is the cable of choice for any 10 gigabit Ethernet installation. CAT 5E is not suitable for 10 gigabit and standard CAT 6 is only capable at 55 meters. As all designs should be based around 90 meters links, CAT 6A cable is the minimum expected cable for 10 gigabit Ethernet situations. Can CAT 6A run 40 gigabit Ethernet? CAT 6A is not suitable for 40 gigabit Ethernet. Even in the situation where it could be possible, too many complications with complex hardware would need to be configured that it would not be the choice for installation. What is the maximum distance of CAT 6A cabling? As previously mentioned all structured cabling designs and standards are based on the following. 1. 90 meter permanent link from the patch panel to the outlet. 2. An allowance of 10 meters for patch leads in total. 3. An allowance of 100 meters if the link is direct with no patch leads. Therefore, the maximum distance for CAT 6A cable is 90 meters if using patch leads. Calculations can be used for longer distances and shorter patch leads, but this is the starting basis for the design. For further assistance or a free survey please email or call on the details below, and click like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video.